Juneteenth was the day that enslaved people, that people learned that slavery was over in Texas when the, the Union Army, the Army of the United States, came to Galveston and took control of that area and proclaimed the end of slavery. And in his General Order Number 3, Gordon Granger says not only that slavery is over, he says that now the former enslaved people would be in a state of absolute equality with, with whites. Now, of course, he couldn't proclaim that and make it so, but, and the 14th Amendment later on is supposed to try to do that by bringing black people into citizenship. But that word equality is a part of the American ideal. And so Juneteenth and the general order that's issued on that day, it links to the Declaration of Independence, this notion of equality as a basic American value. So June 19th and July 4th go together in my mind. I think Juneteenth should be an umbrella celebration for all of the emancipations. Emancipation was not just one day, not one moment. It took place over a period of time. The enslaved people emancipated themselves. The Army of the United States emancipated a number of people as well. So I think Juneteenth can be used to think about all of those moments of emancipation. I think different states have different days that they celebrate. Juneteenth didn't end slavery in the United States. It was the end of the military effort to maintain slavery because it took place after the Army of the Trans-Mississippi surrendered. Lee had surrendered in April, but they kept fighting in uh, the theater, in the Texas theater and in the Southwest. When they give up, that's when Granger can go in. So that's the significance of it, that this is the end of the Confederate Army's effort to use force to keep the system of slavery in their way of life, as they put it, in existence. Now, obviously, slavery was an evil institution, and we can't just say, well, that's how people did things and it doesn't matter, because a lot of the ills that we see today, a lot of the problems we have today, I believe stem from legacies of slavery. So what I want people to do is to be able to look at the past and understand that the past is always present in some way in our lives and to see what, what those are. Why are we doing things this particular way? Why do we have these particular feelings and these thoughts? And a lot of it grows out of things that happened in the past. So I want people to, to think about that and to make those connections.